help me out? Must I? Thanks. Seer would be disappointed if I left you to die in the desert. You really think you can tame one? Worth a shot. Are you tired? Just taking things in. I wonder what spammels eat. What do you eat, beast? The storm nears. We must go. An oasis! We're saved! Now we have the strength to reach the crossing. May the Jedi watch over us. Someone at Seer's base would know what to make of this. Thank you. But I can manage. That's right. Far? Not with our new friend. And now we have time to catch up. No kidding. It's been years. You must have seen the entire galaxy. Almost. How was it? Amazing. The sinking city of Karatao. The Persia Cliffs. This galaxy suffers. But there is still beauty. Any run-ins with the Empire? Yes. These are dark times. I helped those I could. I'm just glad you're all right. You as well. Wherever I went, you were never far from my thoughts. 
That's the way back. something connected to the order interesting are you still upset with us for leaving i didn't see it coming Marin. all of us going our separate ways i understand Cal. but we had our reasons
Spamel saved us. So we can forgive it for leaving us to die. Agreed. Okay. Should be set for the night. Sit. Tell me what adventures you and BD have had since we last saw each other. All right. Same as always. Fighting the Empire, helping out where we can. Not staying in one place too long. And, um... I think we might have found something special. A place where the Empire can't find us. But it would mean leaving the fight. And well, the fight is all I know. Cal. Look into the fire. It will warm you. Keep you company on dark, lonesome nights, yes? But left unchecked, it will consume everything in its path until there is only ash. But on a cold night, like tonight, a warm fire is perfect. And the company is not so bad either. I missed you, Marin. And I, you. I had to leave, Cal. In order to see the galaxy on my own terms. What'd you find? Myself. Reflected in all the places and people I encountered. Dathomir will always be my home, but... It does not need to define me. I never understood why you left. But... Sitting here now... It's clear you made the right choice. You missed a spot. Morning. The weather has cleared. Let's go.
way. The base is not far now. I need to focus. You know, the longer you rest, the longer it will take to reach Seer's base. If we don't stay focused, we may never make it there. Don't worry, Cal. I will protect you. You never have enough of these. survived our first storm together yes we did I'm glad we got to see each other again how long are you staying on Jeddah I don't know but I am excited to see Greece how is he these days not bad he opened up a cantina Pyloon Saloon he named it after his great-grandmother nothing's more important to Greece than family Sears told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice.
How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Yes, well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our spammel friend showed us the way. You have a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Master Cordova and I will wait for Greece. Go speak with Sir. I guess the lift doesn't work from here. Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. You're rebuilding the temple archives. Well, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network. Known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like... Like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And force sensitives, and those who help them. What didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire isn't invulnerable. That you can resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. And then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. 
chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, now you've just given up. It was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, Seer. You can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you too, Grease. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. hello, Beanie. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He's a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey, we're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jetta? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova is up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the Archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, oh, boy. This guy knows his audience. Uh, I found no information related to crossing the Kobo in this. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo, and records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. joining us? I cannot.
I suppose you have both studied Oisin's lemma? Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle-breaking. But, per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. Indeed. And what do you make of this? I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. Ah, the lemma has confounded scholars for centuries, but to you its meaning is clear. I, well, recall the canons. There is no truth but the truth of all things. There is no knowledge but the force of all others. Brother, perhaps you should revisit the fifth book. And while you're there, revisit the preceding books as well. Yes, sister. been here for centuries. <laughs> Don't think we can slice that. Master Cordova requested a translation of a later form of the allocution. Which form? The plain song, brother. Curious. Very well. Furnish him with the latest reduction. It... It isn't my place, brother, but I must request clarification. Why are we granting such a request? The ancients forbid sharing our rituals with outsiders. The ancients were not driven underground by armored invaders. Times have changed. Besides, he is here on Master Junta's auspices. Not an August, I'll grant you, but hardly an outsider. Do as you are instructed. Yes, brother. Sister, were you persuaded by the fifth corollary? Persuaded? Perhaps not, though I was moved. The poetry was inspired. Tragically, it failed. Fatally, to present a consistent ontology. Hmm. I may need to revisit it. So good to see you, Marin. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force Sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path?
you're the traveler. Have you found any systems outside the Empire's reach? Not that I have come across. There are countless ruins scattered across the high desert. One of them could be a perfect safe house for the path. So as clear as my head. You're all set, BD. Easier than building my first one. <laughs> Hail, Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Tass. I'm Cal. 
Word of your arrival has spread quickly, noble one. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, noble one. I meant to ask. You are curious to learn more about the masked hermits helping your mentor, hmm? I am. We are the Narcus Anchorites. We study and venerate the Force as it manifests through knowledge. You're scholars? We gather knowledge, much like other scholars, yes. But our labor is driven by the belief that knowledge expresses universal truth. Through wisdom, we seek to perceive the formless pattern of the Force. Do you understand? I understand describing the Force as a formless pattern. Although, that isn't my perception of it. Indeed. Nor do we experience the Force as you do, Noble One. Seer tells me you were trained in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Up until I became Master Tapal's Padawan. Then we went off to serve in the Clone Wars. Do you think of your life on Coruscant much? Try not to dwell on what it was like before the Order fell. I see. That life... It's so long ago. So much has happened since then. Most days it feels like it happened to someone else. I think I understand. A little. Thank you. It was not my intention to bring up bad memories. It's okay, sister. Care to gaze upon the sacred treasure? Yes, that suits you, noble one. Alluring, no? A priceless curio. And in good condition. That would naturally attract you. Stay curious, always. is with me. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jeddah, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out.
Have you explored any of the ruins on Jeddah? I have. Quite fascinating. Though my research was cut short due to the growing Imperial presence. Now it's too risky to venture outside. And we send communications only when absolutely necessary. Mm. <laughs> that is why I could not tell you that I returned, my friend. My sincerest apologies. We're just glad you're okay. Please, let me know how your field research expedition goes, my friends. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Have a look around the Archive, Cal. We'll talk later. The Archive is growing, but there is still much work to do. I'll leave you to it. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Ah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. This new arm is gonna make piloting a little different. But I'll get there. I hope. Oh, hey, Seer or Master Cordova's got the answers, not me. Talk to one of them. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or it's Moon? Let's hit the Moon Laboratory first. All right. Maybe we can find something there to help us cross the Abyss. Ready to roll out when you are. Hey, Cal, hold on. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Both. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Still. Gotta start somewhere. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. Oh, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. 
Relax, Cal. Just concentrate and pull the trigger. <laughs> It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. I could go for a scas steak right about now. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> and you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to where than meets the eye. You two have that in common. Good luck out there. destination. Another moon. <laughs> no sweat. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. Is that right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Well, former crew. Do I? So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the Abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. First Jetta, now this. Oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. I had no idea. Sit down, we're here. Smidge rusty. You? Uh, a little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure, it's not your cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted.
They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. I'm on watch here. So far, I've spotted one Nervous Latero. I think there's something past the Abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the Council. So not that way. operational after all this time. Stay alert. We need to find that lab. Do it. 